Well, hey everyone, John Grimsmo here. Um, today, in this quick video, I'm gonna be making, look at this tiny little thing. These are the 440 screws that we use on our knives there, and I happen to have a brass one, because this is mine, and you know, I can do whatever I want. Um, normally they're made from titanium, sometimes I do brass, just not for production, but for fun, um, for testing. Today we're making them from zirconium. One of my customers talked me into it. Trust me, I will not be accepting any more orders for zirconium screws. It's a very scary material to work with. I've heard big horror stories of it actually, the chips can self combust. Just like sitting around at a certain temperature, they'll catch on fire. When machining, they can catch on fire. This is, uh, it's scary stuff. And it, sure, it is possible. A lot of knife makers have started using zirconium. Um, it's not something I wanna do a lot of. But it's a fun experiment um, to try it out. A little bit different uh, tool pressures, I noticed, than cutting titanium. Um, so I made one, one scrap part, one good part. It's a bit more expensive too, and I, didn't, I only bought a piece like this long. So I can really only get you know, a few knives worth, but I'm only making one knife worth. Um, yeah, so a quick little uh, video about how I'm doing that. Let's see if I can um, look inside the lathe and, and get through this glass with uh, 300 psi of coolant it, uh, it's hard to see sometimes you have to kind of find like the perfect like window you know a little section that's not being blasted with coolant let's check it out Right there, it did a uh, Torx check to stick a Torx bit into the Torx and sense for any uh, um, any pressure. So if there's no Torx there, if the tool broke and didn't make the Torx, then it'll sense the load and it'll alarm out. And then it also spit it into my little pill bottle here. I made some brass ones earlier to warm up the machine, so that's that's what you saw in there. So essentially these are no different than my normal screws that I make often. I just finished a big batch of them, um, except in zirconium and it's scary. Uh, but this will let me kind of go through the screw process regardless. So uh, lay them running is a Nakamura Tome AS200 LMYS. Fantastic beast. It's got sub spindle, live tools, Y axis. It's, it's a six axis lathe. Each, um, each spindle can rotate with a C axis, a B axis slides in and out like this to grab off the part. So you can make completely finished parts in one operation and they just end up in here or in the parts catcher and then in the door and lots of possibilities. Um, it's a very powerful, very like, very, very complicated lathe and I've been having a lot of fun with it. I've had it for um, 11 months now. And uh, yeah, let's rock it. I could talk about lathe stuff for like 24 hours straight. Okay, so I've got it on memory, which means I'm just making one part. Memory restart would be multiple parts. Just I just need one at a time for right now. Optional stop means it could stop after every operation, so I can uh, check things, but we don't need to do that right now. It's proven out. Um, so we're just gonna go cycle start. Change to my turning tool. 300 PSI of coolant going through the tool. I don't see any flame, so that's good. All right, it's so hard to film with all that coolant going, so I just went ahead and ran them all. See the brass and the Zerk ones in there. Um, ended up making 14, just in case seven of them don't work. Uh, so if you can tell here, I put down a mosquito netting. I went to the local fabric store, one of my wife's favorite places, and found some mosquito netting, just little uh, fabric stuff, relatively cheap. And I have it magneted up on the side with these magnetic poles that I made for the Pearson board. The, uh, the coolant is stuck in the groove there, so it looks like it's painted, but it's really not. I would love to paint it though, that would be cool. 
But yeah, just held up like that. Um, I'm trying to capture all the zirconium chips so that I can dispose of them properly. Um, I've heard that uh, packing them in some sort of container and burying it in the ground is one of the only safe ways to contain them. Uh, or you burn them. So we might actually take a blowtorch to these and see what happens. Because uh, they're, from what I've heard, uh, relatively dangerous. So I don't want that to mix into my um, chip things, which actually Barry just, just got back from the metal store and dumped these all out. Or not the store, the metal recycler place. Um, yeah, so I'm going to pull these out and we'll, uh, we'll deal with it. One funny little thing I do not like about this lathe is this perfectly flat shelf right here that collects all these coolant drops. So as you're leaning in to do stuff, I get dropped on the head all the time from these little guys. And it's just kind of annoying. Like, why wouldn't you make this slightly slanted? I, maybe it's more difficult, but there's angles and slanted faces everywhere. And if this was just five degrees back or whatever, then uh, it would drain properly. It's just kind of funny. It's such a minor thing to complain about, but you know. Zirconium. Oh. It needs to be disposed of. And there's some brass, and there's some t titanium in there too, but probably some stainless. Should I shake it up a lot right now? <laughs> See if you can aggravate it, make yeah. it angry. Um, can we borrow your blowtorch? Yeah. You want to help? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Eric's not going to turn this down. Eight. Hey. You stay. Yeah, so I think it's just gonna kind of catch on fire and sparkle like a fireworks, but but not explode like fireworks, you know? Did you just... wash the coolant off? Nope. Tester. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. Yeah, but could you imagine that in the machine? Like, no, no thank you. And it just, like it's gone. Like, what is it now? Is it just ash? Pretty much. Carbon? I don't know. I think we need to do a big pile. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a big pile. So I don't know what of this pile is titanium and what's zirconium. I, I just pulled everything. Uh, titanium but might burn with Titanium it. does similar yeah. burning anyway. Just not as easy. Um, yeah, it just won't kind of self-combust, you know? I can see it smoking already. Oh, that is, no more that is, that is hot. hot. That is oh my very God. hot. <laughs> huh. That's cool. N neato. There you go. Sorry, Ant. Don't go that way. But yeah, like trying to get that out in the machine too. Yeah, and that's the thing, like the coolant won't put it out by itself, water won't put it oh, out. This is it's, covered in coolant. It's too <laughs> hot. Um, so you need like, like chemical fire extinguishers or whatever they are. Hmm. Which we haven't exactly invested in, because we don't do any zirconium. Let's see what's left here. Cool. Well, thank you for your help. Yeah, that was fun. And by help, I mean you did the whole thing. <laughs>